Learning Objective 3. Identify and explain generally accepted accounting principles, or GAP. There are two standards of generally accepted accounting principles currently in use in Canada. The first is International Financial Reporting Standards, or IFRS, primarily for use by publicly traded companies and credit granting institutions. The other standard is Accounting Standards for Private Enterprise, or ASPE, commonly referred to as ASPE, and this is for privately held corporations. Privately held corporations have the option to report under IFRS if they so choose, but it's generally more complicated and costly to do so. Firms that must report under IFRS, however, do not have the choice to report under the ASPE standard. Accounting practices are guided by what we call qualitative characteristics and principles. There are six qualitative characteristics. First is relevance, which is the ability to make a difference to a user's decision. Second is faithful representation, where the financial information is complete, neutral, and free from error. Third is comparability, which involves utilizing similar accounting practices so financial reports can be compared period to period. Fourth is verifiability, where financial reports logically flow from the data and are reproducible, and for which there is underlying proof or support such as receipts and invoices. Fifth is timeliness, where the financial reports are available in time to be useful to the decision makers. And the last characteristic is understandability, where the information is clear and concise. There are nine principles or general rules that govern the field of accounting. The first principle is the business entity principle, where each economic entity maintains separate records. Second is consistency, where a business uses the same accounting policies and procedures from period to period. Third is cost, where each economic transaction is based on the actual original cost. Fourth is the full disclosure principle, where accounting information is sufficient to make knowledgeable decisions. Fifth is the going concern principle, which assumes that the business will continue into the future. The sixth accounting principle is matching, where financial transactions are reported in the period occurred or realized, and that expenses are properly matched against the revenues in the period in which they're earned. Principle 7 is materiality, which applies to items that are significant enough to affect decisions made by users. Eighth is the monetary unit principle, where financial information is expressed in stable units of money. This means that it would not be appropriate to report financial statements in Bitcoin or other unstable cryptocurrencies. The last principle is the revenue recognition principle, where revenues are recorded when earned and expenses are recorded when incurred.